Hello again, everyone. Today I am here with an unboxing from Bomb Kuchen. And they are a store that I actually really, really love. I don't order from them very often because their selection is kind of small and they don't do uh, new items very often. And, and sometimes when they do, the items are a little highly priced. But I saw this particular item and I had been contemplating something like this and this made me go ahead and take the plunge. So I got this, which is the main event, um, and then I got something smaller, which I will open first. So let me go ahead and show you that. So they always send this little uh, business card, which I, it might, it's some sort of really thick paper. You probably could paint or draw on it. Um, and then they wrap it up with the invoice on this um, little origami piece of paper that they do, and then it has the, the person whose name it's going to on it, which is really a nice touch. I mean, um, anytime they kind of add those little touches, I think it's really nice for a shop to do that. But I'm gonna go ahead and put that off to the side. I'm not gonna open up the invoice. And then I'm gonna show you this first. Oh goodness, wrapped, okay. Oh, and it looks like they included some extra stickers, so that's really sweet. So here, these are actually really nice. They almost look like, like these almost look like, you know, they were watercolor things at one point, and then they made them in the stickers. So there's that. This is the thing that I got. It is a, um, I don't know if they're washi stickers, actually. Let me open this up and see. But all these little stickers are these little spirals, which I thought was really kind of cute and a really beautiful color, like sort of a classy color here on these sheets. And there's a few different sizes. Um, there's some bigger ones. They're all round. Um, so when you take these, oops, they seem to be pretty well attached. So you can see if you take them off, they are round, like around those little designs there. And I just thought that was kind of neat. They're actually made, made for Bomb Kuchen. So that's something that's somewhat unique, at least unique to them. So I actually, I'm not going to put these back in the bag. I will put these off to the side because I'll probably put those in a journal or something. I'm going to put these things off to the side so they don't get in the way. Okay, so now this is the main event. It's um, something I'm really excited to open and take a look at. It's nice. It's like a little present here. <laughs> And it came in this nice little package here. I'm just gonna undo one side. All right, oh, that's so pretty. And so this, this will indicate who this is from. So this is a Superior Labor item. Superior Labor makes handmade leather goods in Japan. And they're sort of a higher end company, but they, they have really great craftsmanship and make really beautiful things. So this is like sort of like a little keychain type thing that you can put on this. So this is a uh, pen case that rolls up. Oh, and it's very crinkly. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up and then hopefully we can get the crinkling over with. And so many people have these in just the leather. Um, they're very popular. <laughs> And when this came out, it's, so it's basically, I don't know if it's canvas or what, but it's all William Morris based designs. And this one is a little bird, uh, I think it's called the Strawberry Eater. And I just thought that that was so sweet and I really, really liked it. And it, it's very nice that this part, it, I mean, the, it's, they were very thoughtful as to where they put the fabric on there. So when you open it up, you know, it's still a continuous pattern, but when you close it up, you know, you have this beautiful flower motif right here that's sort of its own little image, which is really nice. So the inside, these little compartments are made out of leather. Um, I would assume that they are sort of the same leather that the regular leather uh, pen cases are made out of. I think this is probably different because on, the, on those others, it's all leather. This has fabric up here, and this has some sort of lining fabric, although it seems pretty, um, pretty sturdy, but there is leather all the way around here. And then you can roll it up. You can either put it up in little, um, 
thirds like that, which is probably what I'll do. Uh, you could also you could also do it in half, but you would have to sort of um, train it to do that, just given the way it's been stored. But let's see let's see if I can fit some pens in here. So here is my Esther Brook Jr. Let's go ahead and put that in there. And I kind of want to see how it clips over. Oh, that's quite nice. So it, this would fit a pretty tall pen. Let me see. Let's. Um, Going to take them out of this case. Let's go with the Twisby Iris because that's a pretty tall pen. Yeah, that's a pretty tall pen, and you could still have a lot of room. What um, what I might end up doing with this is make it sort of a little bit of a watercolor thing and put a watercolor palette in this one. Uh, I have that set up temporarily in one of my other leather pen rolls and it seems to work really nicely. This one I think can accommodate a full um, travel size palette. Let me actually find one. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. I think it could fit. Yeah, so, so that would be perfect to fit that size palette. I think that's definitely the way to go. And then you could put sketching uh, fountain pens, sketching materials, or... Um, pencils, pens, whatever over on this side. Let's see, what is this one? Oh, right, I put all of my um, Hydracolor colors together because I had gotten some extra and um, and I actually have a few on order. So uh, that's, I might go into that more. But this size is pretty universal for the, it's, it's mainly, I think it's labeled as sort of a 12 half pan watercolor tin, uh, but you can obviously, I mean, when you take the little pan out, you can fit a lot more in here. I, I have these on, they're on little magnets in here. Um, but yeah, but these are really, really common and you can get them just about anywhere and they fit perfectly. I mean, it's almost like that pocket was made for that. Um, but let me go ahead and roll it up with that and see if it's, oh no, that's not an issue at all. It should be fine. So you can just... There's a little one thing that I don't um, that I sometimes don't like about these ones that have little holes like this, like a belt, is that um, generally the space between the holes is not ideal. Like sometimes I wish there were um, more or less room <laughs> in there so that it would hold a little tighter. But it, I mean, it works fine. But this one is beautiful. It's probably going to. Um, there's a possibility of this staining a little bit and getting dirty because it's not leather. Instead, it's you know it's made out of fabric. So um, I did have that in mind when I purchased this one, but I just thought the design was just so lovely, and I was already thinking of getting one of these pen cases, and I went ahead and got this one. And because I love strawberries too, and it's great that the little bird is on there. I just thought it was a really sweet. Uh, package there. The last I checked, they still had these. They're uh, about the same price as the all leather ones, uh, if not the same price. So it's it's not really a premium for the fabric, but again, you know, you're getting something that's fabric and not leather, and it might not last as long, it might tear, etc., uh, just depending on how you use it. So, so there we go. I think that's it. I just wanted to show you that. I hadn't shown anything that I'd gotten from Bomb Kuchin on the channel. And uh, they really are a great shop. I wanted to go ahead and put a link to them below. Uh, I'll put a link to this product below. And then from there, you know, you can go look, look at all of their wares that they have. They have some really nice stuff. So that's all I have for you today. Feel free to subscribe to keep track of future videos on my channel. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And I hope to see you next time. But in the meantime, have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.